Welcome back to more Mommy Devil. <laughs> Mommy Devil, the video game. Yes. We had a vampire mommy. Now we have devil mommy. God, get those two in a room. Jesus. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> we were doing the... Uh, this side quest where we had to... Uh, find just this monk on the road, which I'm guessing it's down there. Because it wasn't up here. But, probably gonna get ambushed by a bunch of people because of it. Simple dagger. Gotta heal up all my skelly boys. Yeah, that blight look works like a charm. That is just what I needed. Like a burst AoE little hit. I like it. So let's go further north. This might be it. Ghoul. Hmm. Is that our man? No? Ah, there he is. Are you Bozan the monk? Indeed I am. My guard turned on me, tried to choke the life out of me. All I could do before I lost consciousness was go over the cliff. I need to return to Kuyovashad and request a night escort. Please, take the tithing demands to the merchant lord Taugun in Menestad. Sure. I guess. Wherever they may be. So where actually is that? Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, join a clan for in. Okay. Oh, I gotta collect it. Whoops. There we go. Tithing demands. And deliver them there, eh? Okay. Should be easy. I send Squimple. We're going to be following this other player here. <laughs> and where are we taking them? Ooh, they've got jewelry people. Oh, it's another waypoint. Cool. Oh, yeah, I can't get jewelry until I'm level 10. I can at least unlock the waypoint so I can fast travel easier. And there's another. I am so very grateful. I will need to make the necessary arrangements. Please, excuse me. How did this happen? I shouldn't be holding this in my hands. It should be. Restraint, my lord. Restraint. Ah, yes. Of course. Carry I bet they hired the guard to do that. Anyway, time to go pick up this other side quest. Oh, what do you need? Uh, an arrangement I made went awry, and I was extorted by the ruffian Laskus for protection. He's camped somewhere near the pass to the northwest. Return the gemstones he stole, and I'll make it worth your while. Sounds like a deal. I can do that. Some good old fighting. So these health potions, upgradable at level 10. Okay, so. Huh. 
So I'm guessing we, that just gets better and better. That's kind of like an Estus kind of deal, maybe. Which I'm totally cool if it is. I really like an Estus system. Because I don't think I've had less than four this entire time. I may have had like temporary boosts. Oh, shit. But I haven't noticed it go down. That was an interesting, like, turn of events. I got some boots for it. Interesting. Sorry, I totally blanked out that entire time. I was just like, what the hell is going on? I was trying to figure out what the fuck was happening. Uh, so it did give us some golden boots. You're pretty fucking good, if I'm honest. Veiled crystal. Huh. Don't really know... Oh, materials and stats. Ah, here we go. Veiled crystal. A rare salvage... Salvage from wear weapons and armor. Okay, cool. This has just got a list of everything that there is. Okay. Oh, wow. Weapon damage. Maximum life. Oh, yeah, it gives everything, huh? That's cool. I like that. Uh, Can't do the mage staff. Bad boots. Better that. Better that. Everything else kind of trash. So I have all my skeletons? I do. So is that just like a random event? That's awesome. I like that a lot. Kind of reminds me of, uh... World bosses and some shit. Or like, um... God, what were they called in Final Fantasy XIV? They were like purple things on the ground. I'm totally blanking on the fucking name. But if you played that, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, sorry, sir. Didn't mean to attack you. Though I probably will. Mero sent you. That spineless merchant. Ha! This will cost him dearly. Yep. <laughs> Hey, 
Payment of gemstones. Cool. And then this looks like a chest. For quite a bit of gold. Is that all that's over here? Seems to be. Everybody's up. Okay, cool. Hmm. There's some ore. Four chunks on that one. I think I'll go back to town and turn in that quest. And sickle. See if that does any better damage than... I wonder if the... It does six damage per second, but... I don't do a basic hit anymore. So I wonder if that even matters. The weapon, you know? Maybe it's just the, the buffs it gives me. Oh, shit. Wow. Maybe the actual DPS of the weapon doesn't matter. But then again, I've never played a Diablo game, so I don't really know. Ah, oh, fuck you. Okay, cool. It gives me that back. Let's go into the frosty mine here. These are like instanced, right? I'm not going to be running into other players down here. Don't think. Oh, hello. We got separated. My, my friends were cut down. I won't last on my own. Oh, well, there you go. It has surprisingly good single damage, that move. Because I believe it stacks that little DPS pool. Had that big ass chest on her. Wow, that sounded bad actually. <laughs> Damn girl, you got that big ass chest on you. Um so I can actually unlock the corp explosion now. So that'd be good. Defenders. Oh, so I can have skirmishers. Sword-wielding skeleton minions that deal 30% increased damage but have 15% reduced health. We have durable shield bearers with 15% life. And then we have reapers, which I don't know. Every six seconds, your skeleton defenders negate the next instance of dam direct damage they would take. Increased amount of thorns. And no, I think I'm going to stick with the uh, skirmishers with the... Uh, the additional warrior here. 
So that's unfortunate that it uh, unsummons all my fucking guys, but... Oh well. We shall make more with time. I'm not crying over them. Oh, I'll climb up. Interesting. I am hearing things over this way. Out of there. Okay, now I got most of my minions back. Okay. Oh, that's super good. And it takes very little mana to do. I cannot do that. Cool. So I'm gonna hit up the healer to refill my uh Estes here. And turn this so, in. The deed is done. Excellent. I knew you would prove worthy of my trust. Indeed I'm I am, sure sir. You've heard the new word as it spreads. We will no longer suffer at the hands of the lesser. Our strength, our might, our destiny is to triumph over the weak. Cool. And then it looks like I got another container of herbs. I cannot do that here. Cool. Yo, that's sick. Damage to slowed enemies? Yes, please. Got a new helmet? That I think I'm going to go immediately take off if there is a wardrobe here, which there is not. So I'm going to go interact with that. Travel there. I don't know. I don't I feel weird about helmets in games because like you customize your character and then you don't ever see them. And I'm like, that's kind of just kind of sucks, you know? But some people like it. Some people like a badass helmet. Not I. I look like a, one of those fucking spiked Goombas from Paper Mario. Um. There we go. Unequip look. Confirm look. I'll come back and check every once in a while to see if there's a helmet worth my head. But uh, <laughs> right now, not so much. I didn't actually look to see if there were any uh, open quests there. I wonder if I can see that from the map. Nah, I can't see anything over there from the map. Okay. Oh, well. I'm here. I've done that. Ooh, there's this one. We'll go there. Whatever that is. Night Howler's Aspect. Interesting. But we'll go that way. We're almost there to unlocking rings at level 10. Woohoo. I can almost put things on my fingies. I've waited for you. Oh, he de disconnected, it looks. Oh, 
I'm level 10 now. Or do I have to collect these things? Okay. Well, that greatly uh, improved my DPS, that fucking corpse explosion. Oh, I didn't... I thought... How do I upgrade him? At the alchemist. Okay. Good to know. So that was just kind of a... That was just kind of a random event. Oh, gotta get that 12 gold, baby. Why are one of my skeletons not moving? Come on, dumbass. I need ya. Forbidden City. Interesting. That entrance looked very squishy. And nasty. Squishy and nasty indeed, sir. Gross. Okay. Hmm. What kind of enemies are we going to be fighting in here? And I wonder if they're going to be... Path of Blood level 10, it says. Well, I'm level 10. Ow. God damn it. So if I heal up, can I pick that up? Okay, that's what that does. I thought it was like a little heal, but it just refills one of your flasks. Refills. Okay. Yep, I would definitely see this as a forbidden city. Go get them, boys. How long does that? Huh. Damn, that corpse explosion is so fucking rad. Just top ourself off there.
Get in there, guys. Holy crap, that was awesome. That felt so good. Getting able to kill that loot goblin. Damn. I'm actually gonna heal up and use this. I'm literally just going blind, by the way. I don't know where I'm supposed to go or where I am going, so. Just in case you thought there was a thought process, there is not. Uh, that looks like a scary door. Well, I got a ring. Whew, okay, let's check out these rings. Holy shit, I got a couple of them. All right, let's go through everything. No, 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 no. Uh, it's no. Uh, yeah. No, no. Yeah, no, no, no. I guess I'll take the two gold ones and then compare from here. How do I shift? An alt, okay. So fire resistance, shadow resistance, crit crit No, I'll keep the other two. Uh, sure. I don't see how that's more armor, but sure. That bow's pretty cool. And yeah. Oh, God damn it! There we go. I'm actually wanting quite low on space. I should go to the blacksmith when I have the chance. Deconstruct all these weapons. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. That felt good. That corpse explosion is so fucking dandy. All right. Oh, well, there's so many more enemies this way. So what I like about this ability is that if they die while they're I'm attacking them, it drops two corpses that I can use to blow up.
Okay. I didn't lose any health. Insanity. Okay. Hello, sir. Ow. Oh, shit. I do not think I am ready for this fight. Yep. Oh, yeah, no, I'm dead here. For sure. I can't use his corpse. <laughs> so that seemed like a really tough boss. Last death location. Do I need to go back there for anything? I don't think so. I am going to check out this. Uh... Oh, this is level 11 too, which I just got to. And I don't think any of my stuff is level 11. Store sealed, yeah. Well, I don't think I can beat that man. If I'm real with you. Because he seemed to hone in on me and he could hit me no matter how fast I ran. Pretty insane, if I'm honest. Yeah, it doesn't look like... Uh... And it's just him, right? No? I guess he was a one-and-done boss? A roaming? Weird. He's not here anymore. He did kind of, like, bamf out. When we were... When we died to him. Do more damage with the corpse? Corpse radius explosion? I think is good. I think that's fine. Okay. explosions here. Okay. 
Okay, well, now I have to pick and choose. My bags are full. So, if I ditch some of this... I'm only picking up blue items now, blue and yellow. That works for me. Now, was that the seal that I needed to... Might have to go back here and do those two, too. We'll see. Maybe it wasn't. Ah, nope. Totally cool. Okay, moving on. Into the belly of the beast. God damn it. Yeah, it definitely gets harder as the fight goes on. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to manage how many skeletons I have out. Ooh. With how much I can fucking... Oops. God, those vulnerability things are fucking me up. Ow. 
Ow. I'm running right into him. Whoo, this is sweaty. Oh shit, I'm about to die. Jesus Christ. Forbidden City done. Holy crap. Why? Increases critical strike. Oh, for the druid. Damn it. <laughs> Increases critical strike by 5% in addition. Blood howl. Also affects nearby companions and players for three seconds. Well, I mean, it's cool to get. It didn't help at all, but I did get a ton of stuff for it. And I think we do have to go and leave the dungeon by ourselves now, which gives us the opportunity to backtrack and do these parts that I didn't see. So, we'll just finish that up. And then we gotta go back and upgrade our healing vial. Oh, man. What a fucking... That boss was easier than the freaking big one that we ran into. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. Uh, so, corpse explosion becomes darkness. Skill... And instead of exploding, releases a vile miasma dealing 112 shadow damage. Oh, that's interesting. It only does 100 and, or, or 56. Over time for six seconds. I don't know. Not yet learned yet. Oh, so I thought, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I can refund these for four coins. Oh, that is so useful. So you can just pick and choose what you want. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It was 8% damage to enemies that are slowed, stunned, or, or vulnerable. These damage bonuses can stack. Not too worried about it right now. Skeleton Warrior Mastery. Uh, yep, I think that's it. I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's an easy point. Just make my boys tankier. Totally down with that. Okay, that fucking hurt. Okay, not what I wanted. Fuck me, dude. It's like a fucking domino effect. As soon as one of them dies, it's just all over for all of them. Skeleton warrior type. Reapers unlocked. Okay, well, what do they do? Oh, shit. Are the reapers better than the warriors? How did I check that? Was that why? No, it was not why. 
It was shift C. There we go. So I got the Reapers. Wields a powerful scythe that has a special wind wind up attack dealing heavy damage every 10 seconds. Huh. Uh, Reaper's attacks gain against enemies who are immobilized, slowed, stunned, or vulnerable. Reduce the cooldown of their powerful wind up by two seconds. Reapers have a 15 chance to carve the flesh off of enemies forming a corpse. Ooh. I think I'm just going to stick with the skeleton warriors, dude. I think I'm going to have to freaking look into... You know, some of the other stuff, see see what kind of builds are out there already. You know, what's the best one? What's the best skeleton warrior to have, depending on my build? Well, I fucking love the shit out of that. Just as soon as I see a corpse, just fucking destroy everything in that general direction. that exactly Ooh, I got a new shield interesting bone breaker that's better than mine was that the no huh this one's better than that one Loyalty Lash? Well, not damage directly. Oops, I'm into alt. I don't know what overpower damage is. But I think I'll keep whatever it is. I'll take that. Okay. Did I not pick up that bill hook? I thought I did. I didn't see it. Oh well. Uh, I got another thing. Let's go into. Let's keep pumping them up. Good job transferring your course over there. Okay. So is that. That's the entirety of the thing. Should I just teleport to the town? Huh, I can. Cool. And here we are back again. Now, is this the town I want to be in? Oh, what the hell is this? Okay. Got a skill point. This is, in fact, the one I want to be in. Healing upgrade, item upgrading, extraction and imprinting. Okay, cool. We got shit to do in this town. Let's stop by these people first, because we can upgrade items. I want to upgrade Let's my equipment. Look at you. Hmm? Hmm. Buckles need reinforcing. This leather's cracked. What have you been getting yourself into, huh? Look, you live or die by the quality of your equipment. If you've the coin and materials, I can improve it for you. Cool. Are these my skeleton warriors? No, these are this guy's skeleton warriors. I guess that's what the shield ones look like. Interesting. I don't know whose skeleton warriors these are, actually. <laughs> So now I can upgrade shit. That's cool. I am going to 
repair all Not for bad. a little bit of money. And I'm going to basically junk everything that I can get a style from. God, do I want to throw this too? It is a necromancy shield. Actually, no. I want to equip that. That's way better than what I have. Come back if you need work. It doesn't do the DPS, but I mean, blocking 45% fucking damage. 20% chance to block at a 45% and it gives 80% to this one. Oh my god. I didn't even notice that. So hold on. No, it doesn't change it. 82. Still, that's fucking cool shit. Okay. I guess I'll sell the rats. Father's light heal you. Now we go to the apothecary. I want to increase my potency well, of my potions. We have the look of someone who spends a lot of time in the wilds. I expect you'll also want some of my elixirs, but let's focus on your healing potion for now. I have some extra materials we can use this time. If you want to improve your healing potion further or craft any elixirs, you'll need to source your own ingredients. Ah, okay. I'll not leave these walls. Never again. Fair enough. Okay, yeah, they can increase the potency. Ah, okay. Uh, healing post can be increased by earning renown in the region of Sanctuary. Region renown can be viewed on the map. Okay. The makings, I can mix it. So I have a weak health potion. I can go to... I need level 20 before I can get to the next healing potion. 30, 45, 60, 70, 80, 90. And that's it. God damn. Well, that's cool. And I can make one of these ones. But I don't really plan on using them. Okay. Oh, did it want me to actually upgrade something? Over here? Because I still have the, uh... Father bless. What do you need? Okay. I'll upgrade something. Guess I'll... Upgrade my sickle? Or should I do an armor? What's my highest level requirement thing? Level 5 it seems, so... Yeah, fuck it. I'll upgrade it. Only 500 bucks and 7 iron? Unexpected. I think I'll just upgrade it the once, though. So I did get the challenges for it. Those don't give me anything, huh? Unless that little reward thing... Because this one doesn't have it. I guess they do give me rewards? I don't know. Reward challenge. Ah, okay. And then from there... We go over here to the jewelry extraction and imprinting. I'm sure you know, even seemingly mundane objects sometimes contain great power. I can help you wrest that power free. The process will break down the original object, leaving behind the pure aspect of its mystical power. You might think of it as ripping the soul from one body and transferring it to another. <laughs> not that I would ever dream of such a thing. <laughs> Certainly not within earshot of the cathedral. <laughs> okay, calm down, buddy. You got a skeleton on your fucking desk. I can take common, turn it special. Oh, okay, so I can put that on something.
Aspect from inventory. So if I take this, it gives me druid only bullshit, which is not what I want. Well, that's good to know. To replace an effect on an item, get the aspect preview. Okay, cool. Well, that's where I'm going to call it there. Actually, never mind. I'm going to upgrade my skeletons one last time. Awesome. I might need to go. I'm going to look back and go through all this and see what I want specifically. But I'll do that on my own time. I'm not going to bore everyone with my bullshit. Um, all right. Well, I will see you in the next one.